One of the heaviest hitters when it comes to infectious diseases is tuberculosis or TB. Now we've known about TB for years, it was seen in mummies, and throughout history we called it the White Plague. From 1600 to 1800 in Europe, it accounted for about 25% of deaths, a quarter of all deaths. It was so prevalent, they wrote plays about it, poems about it, drew art about it. Even today, it kills about a million people every single year. It is in the top 10 global causes of death. Now what causes TB? TB is an airborne infectious disease caused by the pathogen Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It's highly aerobic, which means it needs oxygen, so it likes to infect the lungs. You get things like fever, chest pain, weight loss, cough. After it affects the lungs, it can spread to other organs in the body. Now what caused TB, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, was not known for a long time until in a Robert Koch. Now Heinrich Robert Koch was a German doctor born in 1843. And like a lot of these other Nobel Prize winners we talked about, he was very dedicated to academics and science from an early age. When he graduated, he didn't have a lot to work with. He had to actually buy much of his own equipment, except, except a microscope given to him by his wife. Very romantic gift. And he would start to discover that a lot of these diseases were caused by bacteria. And he would be a founder of bacteriology or, or the study of bacteria. He said, these, these diseases that we didn't know the cause of, they're not due to mumbo jumbo, they're actually due to infectious diseases. He would find the cause of things like cholera and anthrax. His idea to isolate and grow bacteria and find that it caused diseases was very important because at that time there's an idea of spontaneous generation that diseases and living organisms just kind of poof came out of nowhere and he said they don't come out of nowhere there's a cause and when we find the cause we can develop treatments for that cause he was also able to develop other laboratory techniques like fixing and staining and photographing bacteria which is very important because we can physically visualize it physically make contact with it and we can replicate the work better and during that time, of course, tuberculosis was very big. And the cause of tuberculosis was not known. Many thought it was due to poor air. Many thought it was due to unbalanced chi. Many thought it was due to punishment for those that strayed away from God. And, and Koch, really proposing this idea of bacteria causing the problem, says, probably not any of that. It's probably due to bacteria. And in 1882, he, in fact, found it was due to Mycobacterium tuberculosis. That was his groundbreaking moment that it was actually a physical bacteria that was a physical pathogen that caused it and because of this we were able to in the future build treatments to fight against this pathogen later in his career he was like a rock star he was sent to many places to battle infectious diseases and contain outbreaks but for his work in discovering the cause of tb finally he was awarded the nobel prize in 1905 so that's the story of robert cook that's the story of the discovery of the cause of tb hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button if you want to see more if you want to see more videos of the series hit subscribe and click here for more of this series thanks